Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. We're going to go over a, a gas rotary vein septic air pump rebuild. First thing you're going to do, you can leave it there. You don't have to take it off the unit um, away from the septic system. In the field, we just rebuild them right there. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to undo these. Okay, These don't necessarily come out too easy. So uh, what you're going to actually have to do is on them is you'll tighten them slightly and then you'll loosen them up. Take them out. Then this is 11 millimeter or 7 sixteenths. And um, you'll take these out here. <clears throat> take this, set it over here. This uh, gasket here will not come off like this. So uh, it'll be stuck on there really good. So either on this or on this uh, piece here. And you'll have to take a straight razor to it to get it off of there. And it'll take you a little while, but it's important that this is clean for the new gasket. Uh, once that's done, I like to put my bolts in there so I don't lose anything. And then you're gonna take a 10 millimeter. Undo all these. Take this piece off here. Some of the pumps will have an orange gasket right here. It's like a spacer, and uh, it'll either be stuck here or here. If it does, don't remove it. Okay, the kit comes with it, but don't remove it because you'll curse yourself if you do getting it off there and then trying to set the new one on there is a real pain, too. So the veins will be broke. Um, they break usually in the middle. They get war right here, uh, is one of the one of the main points is where they break so what you're gonna do once you got everything out is depending on how old your unit is is you're gonna want to run it real quick you're gonna make, make sure it turns so we just put our hand on there make sure it'll spin um, it's got enough torque to run if it doesn't run when you do that you need a new pump the motors too weak so you got your uh, your veins your veins are cut in a very specific form, okay? So they have a little bevel on them. And you'll see that the metal here is cut at an angle, okay? And you're gonna wanna put the veins in at the same angle that those are in. All right, so it's not that hard to do. Make sure I'm doing all these all right. So they need to be put in the correct way because it won't create any air pressure otherwise. So, all right, so we got all those. So you take this, put it up like that, <clears throat> put this piece on, make sure it's sitting on there pretty good. And uh, it's important that it's on there pretty clean, pretty flush. Make sure all the holes are lined up. Now this is where people mess up. This is the most important part. When you put this back, because this plate and the rotor are so close to each other, this doesn't have to be like a car tire. So you don't want to tighten it um, and just put all your muscle into it. It's only 105 to 115 inch pounds of torque, so it's just snug. And so we're going to put these in. And I'm not going to tighten them all the way down. I don't recommend you use a drill. I've done this probably a thousand times. Um, so then you'll, you'll plug it in and what you wanna listen for, that's a good noise right there. So a lot of times it won't sound that loud and if it doesn't, you need to tighten them up. So they're pretty much, it's pretty much done. So this one's good to go. So we're going to do this one more time. It's pretty loud. So that's all good and dandy. 
So now that we have that, we're gonna set this on here. What we do in the field is we'll take some silicone with us because you don't want to fight this thing and we'll just put it right here. And that's just so this can stick. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, just so you don't have to fight it. It sits on there nice and clean. So you put that on there. And you might not be able to do it this fast, just this is the only compressor we use and we install, so I'm really familiar with these. Um, it'll probably take you 30 minutes or so to do, uh, especially getting that one gasket off. You know, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, we just used a new one so we could show you uh, the basics of it. Once that one's set on there, you're good. This is, this is pretty easy to do. Uh, it's safe, it's running correctly. So you don't need to disconnect it from your septic uh, system. Uh, we rarely, if ever, disconnect it from the septic system. It's just not a, a necessary thing to do. You should be able to do it in the field. <coughs> Actually, the guys never bring one back. They just do it right there. So that's all set on there. It's nice and tight. One of the things also when you're rebuilding these that I see a lot of is people don't put these filters in for some reason. And they'll get, they'll, there'll be a lot of air leakage out of the side. And the septic system really isn't bubbling. So, uh, take these, set these in here. You'll get new filters, new veins, new gasket. You'll get the new orange O-ring with your kit. Uh, good to go. Then you set it back down. <clears throat> Plug it in. So you got good pressure coming out of there. Uh, you really won't know because you'll, the fitting will probably still be on there. But you can feel around here for air leakage. Don't confuse the fan blowing as air leakage. You'll, you'll be able to feel it right here. But that's basically it. That's how you rebuild a, a rotary vane compressor. You can do, they're all basically the same. So gas, Thomas has them. But they're all going to be uh, exactly the same, putting them back together. It's pretty fast. As far as spraying stuff on the inside where the rotor is, you don't need to do that. Uh, we've never done it. Okay, you just clean it out real good with the rag and it's it's uh, good. Make sure there's no carbon bits in there. And uh, whoop it back together. And like I said, the orange gasket that's on the inside of here, if it's on there, just leave it on there. I mean, you'll curse yourself. I've never had one fail. You know, go and rebuild it. No, it failed because the orange gasket, they all last another five, six years. Uh, and then they go and we rebuild them again. These units, they last an ungodly amount of time. I just had a phone call this morning. Guys had one for 20 years. So uh, they last a long time. They're great pumps. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know and we'll uh, answer them for you. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.